In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the date to binary leak code problem. Purely because of the screen size, I'm going to keep it fairly straightforward and do it outside of the function. And I'll do it over a number of lines to make the transformation as simple as possible. So what we need to do is take a date like this in string form, and then basically convert this, this, and this into the binary equivalents, and then return it back in the same format with these hyphens here. So the first thing I want to do is look at these individual things as numbers. Okay, so we have our string split apart into its individual components. I'm now going to use a comprehension to convert each of these to the integer format, and then go into the binary format. So we can say integer of i, and do this for each i that happens to be in date. Let's hit run again. Okay, these have now gone from strings to integers. Because these are now integers, these guys can go directly into the bin function. And there we go. So these are now binary strings. What you could also do here is strip off the first two by using some clever slicing. And you want to go from position two onwards. So let's do some square brackets, two and a colon like this. And there's my list of binary strings. So now let's use the join method to join this, this, and this around a hyphen. So let's redefine date again. We'll do a string, do a little hyphen here, and we'll say around this hyphen, you're going to join the contents of date. And here we are, there's my output. So this is this represented in the correct binary format of this here. Of course, you could do this in way fewer lines. I've done this over a couple of lines to show the transformation process going from this through to the end result of the binary string. 